here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Du Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Du Ho Choi here tonight. Missed on the right hand. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Body head, body head. Oh, nice block. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that what a going. kick. That one landed. Oh, my goodness. These boys are going at it. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Beautiful high kick there. Big power shot there. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Big shot to the head. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. It's not over. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Clean punch. Good work, guys. Come on. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, nice right hand from champ, yeah. Great block there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Well-placed kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Punch got blocked there. His misses are entertaining. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Nice straight punch. Nasty body kick downstairs. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. him with a head kick that at least partially landed oh my goodness he had kick in the head and he's still standing huge kick right there don't want to take too many more of those joy gets caught by the inside leg oh setting up the left hook but out of range 15 seconds remain in the round well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. 
Oh. Round two next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Oh, nice kick. Don't back up. Nice left hand bind. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Ooh, big shot land. Nice punch to the head. There's another one. Lands a jab. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. And just misses with that big right hand. Choi gets lit up by that trick. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Right hand, yep. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent there. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Go two minutes down here in the second round. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, nice job landing that knee strike. Just miss with that right hand. Choi's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Choi's uppercut is blocked. Just over two minutes to go. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Hide that leg kick. Oh man, another nice leg kick is there. Keep moving forward. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Block that punch. Let's go. You can do this. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. 
to the left hand now, unable to connect. Right on the button. Keep your hands up. 30 seconds in the round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. End this fight. End it. 20 seconds left. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside uh, position come in here and uh, try to stop this fight. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picked up on the action, put their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other ones. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Unable to land with that punch. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Three minutes to go in round three. Slips to avoid the run. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking at the Very bad. Oh, huge left. Big combination. Oh, misses with the jab. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Missed with that attempt. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice head kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, spinning heel kick connects. Impressive. It's a nice jab by him there. Choi's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite cruise started to form on that right side. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. 
Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. A oh, little single collar tie there. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is gonna start to affect his breathing. Just misses there with the left. Nice crack there. Oh, the connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, three rounds stop, down, stop, potentially stop. two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Relax. Keep those hands high. He's got a good left hand. There it is. Defensively responsible. Nice block. So he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of right. He hurts you with bad. And this guy has to punch very bad with you. Big right hand. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, solid kick right there. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. Third again. Back to the feet. Straight right is there. Just over three minutes to go. Great punch. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. All right, so he continues to land and right on that cut. Getting a little bit hard to watch right now with all the blood pouring out. Yeah, but you know, sometimes you got guys that cut easily. You think the Diaz brothers, this guy gets cut, but it doesn't seem to be deterring him. He's still trying to fight, but he's got to make some changes. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautiful jab landing. to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, if body language is in... Oh! oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh, nice. 
Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes he's made. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Gets back to his feet. Big knee to the body. Oh, nice body shot. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Choi's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi with another highlight for the reel here tonight.